Okay, welcome back to part seven. Let's keep going this chapter and uh, yeah, hopefully not get people killed. Can we? We haven't tried to be her with the other girls yet, I don't think. Yeah, I don't really trust the Hi, Zach. Hi, I'm Alice. I don't want him I'm to Alice. either kill my character or kill her, so I don't want to mess with him too much. Okay. <clears throat> The robes were fish scales, briefly, but again, becoming cloth. Not here. Hair with seaweed, then tentacles, each topped with an eye. Except for a moment. The head was... All right, well, nothing for her then. Deep sea horror, ringed with row on row of teeth, two impossible. I'm Zach Weston, just sharpening my powers of persuasion. Run or die, the door gave way from the stumbling push, and there was a long expanse of the room. Footsteps echoed on wood, the spinal shiver of pursuit of by a nightmare. The air was thickened mud. Step and then stop. I'm Oscar. Is there anything else I can do? Wireless sockets led straight into its mind. A cold, dark tongue. Those teeth, that carnivore like a spiked coffin. The vision vanished. Well, I think we've been everybody at this point, so I guess let's see if we can progress the chapter. Lush. A human mind to wear, like a shell for a hermit crab. Uh, we can't. I agreed to help the bag lady with its disguise. We've got a new target. Alice Monroe. Alice said she was in a relationship with Dorota. She kissed a girl and she liked it. <laughs> she told you where John Pope, or Poe, is going to be next. Rain still town. says he was praying in his room, alone. Bronwyn was logged into a call centre system called Taratasm. I heard the recordings from last night and it's her voice. So as much as it pains me to say it, Bronwyn isn't a suspect. But Lexi and Rain still are. Rain's confirmed he met Alice at the radio station. Picking his next victim, maybe? Lexi's doing some investigating for you. As if that'll help. Rain told you about the Butcher of Birmingham. It's a thing. Made an interesting read. Those tarot readers hang out with death. His explanation of it? It's all fairy tales, so I'm not getting involved. Violet says she doesn't remember last night, but I've got that in hand. Violet told you about her brush with aliens? You seem far too interested in those kind of things. Zach Weston says he was in his studio last night. No one corroborates. And he keeps asking Ellis to pose nude. Could be motive. Oscar's in the clear. He was playing football last night. He said that Dorota had a wedding dress in her closet. Not many people would know that. That's it. Okay. That concerns me. So that means either we have to go back at Sam and ask uh, more from Violet, or that we have to go back to Lexi and ask more from Zach. Shoot. <clears throat> Stretching it wide. I guess The bag so lady gapped its vile seeing mouth over my own and regurgitated a worm-like thing. No thicker than its fingers, but longer. Hi, I'm Lexi. I don't like this. Um, mm. I do not like this. I'm Lexi. up into my nasal cavity, and then up further, until it was crawling inside my- You're dating Violet, aren't you? Oh god. Oh no. You know, you're quite striking. You have to ask permission for- Just saying Dorota's not here, we could have taken some great shots of you two together. 
Would you like me to photograph you, Lexi? No. No. But you know, maybe he'll talk if we get him to say yes. I don't know, this is a bad idea. Why don't we switch places? Oh gosh! Leave. Is he gonna kill me? Don't kill me. If you start telling me to take off my clothes, I'm leaving. Yeah, let's get back. Wait a minute. I just realized this is a bad idea because if 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 Lexi sees these pictures, she's gonna know the jig's up. Take this. Oh. The true horror. The bag lady was getting hungry. I'm not drinking your drink. Spare some change. No. The homeless man said. He wore torn clothes, held a cardboard now, sign in hand, and smelled of urine. The worm probed, and the worm. The answer was nothing, which may have been precisely the point. I still can't. How about something to eat? I said. I guess we're gonna have to smile. Like I'm not. I don't or want somehow both die. together. A jingle of coins, a handful of. Sorry, Lilith. It's difficult to explain. I'm stuck in the wall of an enormous room made from these wooden vines, except the vines slowly move and drip with pain. Drip with pain? My head is pushed out like I'm a trophy. If I look to my side, there are others, heads, all prisoners, being experimented on. They rearrange us like decorations. Suck us backwards into the darkness and then thrust us back through the wall. And when they return me home, I'm broken. Cuts. Bruises. Memories. Great. I don't have to make of that. Now can we forms, move on with the chapter? And the screens lasted just a moment. It's nine o'clock oh, and you're listening to Radio August. Thank God. Investigations into the murder of 21-year-old Dorota Shaw are continuing this evening. Miss Shaw was found dead in her home at approximately 10 p.m. last night in what police are describing as a puzzling case. Residents are urged to be cautious until the perpetrator is caught. I cannot stress this enough, August. Stay safe out there. You mean the world to me. In other news, Monroe has been detained on urgent business, so you're stuck with me until she returns. Oh, we're gonna talk to Poe. Never fear, Monroe fans. He's a we still have lots of pre recordings, so you can relax with her angelic tones. That's nine o'clock with Poe and Monroe. I don't like that title. It sounds like, uh, you know, Ellis is going to die or something. All right, next chapter. Let's go. Over a decade ago, Good time after a sudden... Sam, I've got some heavy rain news. Heavy rain, like the game? Sorry. <laughs> Lawrence Petrovsky, that's his real name. And no, he's not a Russian spy. But he does have a criminal record. One second. My cat is over here bothering me. He was charged with the murder of a 21-year-old artist. Looks like he got off on a technicality by all accounts. Okay, because he did say he was charged but not convicted. So I guess it was this. About three months ago in Hong Kong. Be careful, Sam. So you're like going to ask him about this. 
could be a flight risk. And you know, there's a good chance he could be the killer. I guess, but I don't get that feeling from Who's him. Behind you? Let's do the what do we know, and just in case he has something new here. Uh. Rain's still a suspect. No corroborated alibi. Bromman Castle has one. Lexi Taylor doesn't. I've got my search back on Rain, or Petrovsky, as we should call him. He's got priors that you're looking into. Violet says she doesn't remember last night, but I've got that in hand. Zach Weston says he was in his studio last night. No one corroborates. Oscar's in the clear. He was playing football last night. He said that Dorota had a wedding dress in her closet. Not many people would know that. That's it. The head was a monstrous... Hey, I'm going. There's too many people asking questions. It's exhausting. I'm off to stay at my aunt's. I'll come back tomorrow, but I've said everything I can say. Okay. Can we search this apartment? He just Lodge. left me here. Playing with the images all and right. thoughts all called from... Hey, Zach, you creeper. Probably right here. Why? <laughs> I didn't realize I was under house arrest. Wait, what? Thanks for the advice. I hope I'm not the only suspect. No, you're with not. With each but strange you're step. a suspect. And then stuck. Okay, she's getting. Okay, nothing new. Else. Nothing? Okay. Shoulders with spider like things. You're the detective. Hey, Poe. Monroe just called. This is madness. It's... Who would want to hurt her? Ugh. Sorry, I had to stop myself from saying anything. This is madness. Alright, let's go. We've worked together for years. She's the light to my shade, the angel to my demon. The diamond to my okay, lump dude. of coal. Relax. She told me to say all those things. Why are you fondling your microphone, sir? Stop that. Heavens no. I have a wife and three children, beloved spawn of my loins. Monroe and I are good friends. <laughs> this That's guy. All. I don't know why, but he kind of reminds me of, um, what's his face? Doug Walker used to do like a character when he would review Ask That Guy or something. I'm trying to remember. He had this weird personality. This guy kind of talks like him. Okay. Only a madman. A woman. Monroe is August's sweetheart. Poe and Monroe. That was her idea. But that kind of makes means she might be a target in a way, right? Because everybody knows who she is. Poe and Monroe. Our show. We were just another local radio station before that. It was Monroe who decided we should have a theme. Dark Nights with Poe and Monroe. Don't tell me you haven't heard it, Detective. Yes, I've heard That's it That's what lot. the Free Radio Project is all about. Uniting August via the airwaves. Monroe's been delivering free radios anywhere people might want to listen. Doctor surgeries, hairdressers, the guest house. That's pretty cool. I don't think radios are that expensive, and if this is a small town, you know. <laughs> She's forcing people to listen to you? Oh my gosh. You probably get more information on the free radio question, but this is too funny. <laughs> We have to ask this. That's cynical, Detective. <laughs> Not at all. We aren't the only show on the radio. Man, you need some chapstick. All right. All right, ask her about... We interviewed her about her scholarship not too long ago. Do you think whoever killed Dorota plans yes. to kill Monroe? Yes. What makes you think she's in danger? Sound like a crazy person. Tarot. Does this have anything to do with the gentleman who stopped by? Was it Rain? No, I didn't get his name, I'm afraid. He offered to do a spot on our show. 
doing tarot well, readings to answer listener questions. We said we'd think about it. You know, this town is fascinating. There's a lot more to it than meets the eye. Have you ever read up on the real history of August? Dude, I know nothing about this town. Yeah, tell me more. The official story is that Mary August retired from a life on the high seas, found a nice spot here, and used her ill-gotten gains to establish a town. But that's not what really happened. So like a pirate? I feel like I... It, is she based on a real pirate? Because I feel like I maybe I heard about her, but I might be confusing her with another like pirate queen or something. <laughs> I want to keep hearing this. This is interesting. It's true that Mary August was a pirate, but she didn't retire. Her ship was sunk on the rocks just off the coast. Mary and all of her crew sought refuge in a small fishing town. This one. They slaughtered everyone, men, women, and children, all dead and dismembered in their own homes. The bodies were dumped in a mass grave. Well, the body parts, and the pirates moved in. Uh, I don't want to know where the mass grave is, but the August is descended from pirates. Everyone in August, that's an interesting idea. Yes, August was built on the blood of innocence. Kind of puts Dorota's murder into perspective, kind doesn't of it? Up. Okay, this must. I am pretty sure this is a made-up story. All right. On that note, I should probably get back to the booth. The show must go on. Death threats be damned. Right, bye. Look after Monroe, detective. She's the only Monroe I've got. It's now ten o'clock. Here's your August update. Investigations deepen into last night's murder of 21-year-old Dorota Shaw. Miss Shaw, a talented cellist who had recently been granted a place at Juilliard, was found strangled at her home last night. With the murderer still at large, Chief DuPont has urged residents to remain calm and stresses there is almost no chance of anyone else being harmed. Alice, if you're listening, let me know you're okay. In other news, a handful of August residents have reported seeing strange lights in the sky earlier this evening. The lights, which witnesses describe as searingly bright, were spotted over the east edge of town, past the fire station. Have you seen any strange lights? Or for that matter, little green men? Let me know. That's 10 o'clock with Poe. Skip investigations. Okay, so then the bag lady floated there. Silent and sadded, while I watch from the crack of the closet. I always watch from inside the closet. No. It's you. Yeah, it's me. I was hoping it might be Zach. Nope. Who's John Pope? No. Oh, him, yes. Oh, I've heard funny. him on the radio. Never met in real life, though. Are you mocking me, Sam? Yeah, they have a radio. No, I have never met the man. No. And I've got some very important news for him, if he ever shows up. Liar. Yes. If he ever shows up. Okay. Ah, yes, now I remember. It's the one in the hall. Sometimes cuts through the... Uh, a terrible silence in this place. You know, I will say, even though I like that they have the radio stories in here, I kind of don't like that it's going on in the hallway, because when you're talking to suspects, you don't really get a chance to clear your head and kind of talk and think about it, because there's all this other noise going on. <clears throat> okay, um... I'd remember her voice, but her face, that's very plain, isn't it? Rude. <laughs> <laughs> no!
No, she just has some regular scissors and she's just walking around. She just fade into the background. What the hell? Is that a green screen effect? There. Nightmares. Firstly, thank you for writing this one in. Okay. She says, Okay, Violet. I dream that I'm in a Chill strange out. house. But in Chill the dream, out, it's Violet. my house. And I'm discovering lots of empty rooms I'd forgotten I had. Hey, Sorry, Violet. Sam. What can I do for you? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I, I always cry around this time of night. Um, Every night? Why? What's the point, Sam, huh? If we can't save them. Mercury is a curse. It's like some tourist guide for murders. <sighs> I try for Lexi and Rain to make them think that we can make a difference, make a change, but <sighs> we haven't so far. What if we can't make a change? I wonder how many times these guys have actually gone through this by now. Hmm. I I want to like say I want to say that we can help, but I don't want to make false promises. I don't know. She's kind of emotional right now. Maybe we should try to comfort her at least this one time. Okay. Yeah. Why not? Baby. If we could just save one person, Sam. Alice, we need to save her. I'll do, I'll do my best. We need to. I'll do my best. Oh, you know what? I don't think I ever mentioned it, but she was also in Contradiction. I think she played, like, somebody called, like, Emily or something? I'm trying to remember, but she was in that game. Uh, let's see. Yes, ask her if she was watching Violet. Yes. She's definitely got a monkey on her back. <laughs> I haven't heard that expression in a while. I saw her get changed. She's got all these scars on her back in the shape of a monkey. <laughs> what? Like they've been burned into her. What the hell happened to her, Sam? I don't know. She says she got abducted by aliens. <laughs> the aliens burn a monkey into her back? I don't know what the hell is up with her. She's crazy. Yes. I've managed to sneak a look at her laptop. Ooh, she's yes. been Googling Ellis Munro. Ooh. So she's lying to me about knowing more about her. Okay. So she's definitely still a suspect. It rings a bell, but... So she doesn't know about Rain's name. No. Sorry, Sam. Maybe Rain's some kind of undercover agent. Hold. Room gave the impression of a fish tank. With twilight blue through long windows and bag lady floating as if suspended in currents of unseen water. Bag lady changed form. Not just undelusions of hair or clothes. Sorry. But a subtle morphine. My cat just, uh. The robes she's were fish scales briefly. She gets but her again, collar off all the time. Cloth. She just pulled it off. Uh, the draggled hair with seaweed right. and tentacles. Ooh. That's a big risk to tell us about Hong Kong. Let's ask his name first. So that's what this is about. Chief Dupont has finally dug up my old record. Yeah, he sure has. I am Lawrence Petrovsky. Mm hmm Victoria Cheng. A very good painter. I didn't kill her, though. I was trying to save her. Yep, keep telling me about it. Hong Kong. It was our third encounter with a traveler. We'd managed to trap her on the roof of an apartment complex. Roughly translated, the building was called Flight, which was ironic. When the traveler realized we had it cornered, it tried to jump off. I managed to grab Victoria's ankle, 
but I couldn't hold on. Hong Kong being Hong Kong, there was about 37 tourists that filmed the whole thing. So to some people, it looked like I was dangling her over the edge of a building to meet her doom. I wasn't. I was trying to save her. I kind of think he's innocent. He seems very legit, like, torn up that he couldn't save her. And it, so, I think he's a good guy. Honestly? You don't. Once they're caught, a few hours later, they've hopped timelines into someone else. We just keep chasing them. Continuously mm. trying to stop them ruining lives. There's gotta be some way to trap them. Yeah, can you force them to leave? No, but they don't like being exposed. If Mercury pointed them out, they're already in trouble. We'd do a reading. Mercury would know. I want to know where they got these Mercury card decks from. Anthony had lived a life of addiction, survived on a steadily dwindling income. From Yo, Lexi, what up? Yeah, what would you find out with the Ouija board? Quite a lot, but I'm not sure how much of it is useful. Apparently this town has a lot of spirits with a lot of unfinished business. <laughs> Can we ask her about <laughs> the stuff that Bronwyn said that she was saying to the Ouija board? One woman was looking for her daughter, and there was a girl looking for her mum. It was awful. Were they the same they were both there, but they couldn't together? see each other. I couldn't help them. That's pretty sad. Okay. Yes, the general message is anyone that tries to stop Ellis dying will be punished. Mm. Sam, be careful, please. Okay. I, I don't want to get my character killed. Yeah, Victoria Chang. Oh my god, who told you about Victoria? Rain. She died. Rain. Jumped off a building. We tried to save her. Well, Rain tried to save her. Sam, we need to save Ellis. Victoria's already gone. Okay. A who, what, which of what? So none of them know his real name. Interesting. Let's reveal that it's Rain's real name. I don't think so. What if he's a traveler? What if he's a good traveler? He's off the radio. I don't really know him. Actually, I'm glad you're here. I really, really want to do a reading for you right now. You know, to help. Uh, sure. Great. Let me just draw three cards for you. <laughs> Is this a proper tarot reading? Alright. You are supposed to shuffle, I think? And I th actually, I think the person who draws the card is supposed to shuffle. Um, let's ask Matt. I shuffled before you got here. Okay. No. The Two of Cups. That's mysterious. Is there anyone you feel a spark of attraction to? Oh. Maybe someone you've met recently. I see what you've done here, girl. You smart. The lovers. <laughs> I did not expect that. Oh, this is it good. It seems this attraction has the potential to be life-changing, if you want it to be. <laughs> and finally. Oh, you're really funny. The Knight of Cups. This card is about pursuing your heart's desire. I think it's time to tell that someone special how you really feel. You clever girl. Wow. What an interesting reading. <laughs> Does it mean anything to you? I, I like her style. I like her style. You know what? I like her. I don't think she's the killer. Hopefully this doesn't get my character killed. <laughs> yeah, sure. Let's ask her on a date. If we survive this. So is this- I'm just curious though, is this being clueless or is that just being a total a-hole? Is this trying to be the nice- I'm not interested. Yeah, let's ask her out on a date, why not? She's cool. You catch on quickly, don't you, Sam? <laughs> uh, that's good. Okay. Find that his name was George. 
George had lost his job and his family and couldn't work right. because of pinched nerves, or so he said. Perhaps his story... Don't confirm the existence of travelers. They're not ready. Ooh. They're not ready. So we must be a traveler. Or we know about them. I I really I really think we might be a traveler. Okay, let's uh, let's go. Shift shifting time. Hi, I <clears throat> Hi. Hi, I'm Chief DuPont. To the room bathed in blue light with the glass walls like a fish. Did you get a call from my doctor? About your pills? Your doctor did call. Did you tell her I was being compliant? I said you were taking the pills. Thank you, Claude. I won't forget that. You said you saw other heads when you were taken. Yes. Other girls, younger than me. Nobody I recognized. They all had red hair. Do you think this place is nearby? They all had red hair. Yeah, we gotta ask you about this. Yes, they all had red hair. They were all very pretty. And they were all alive. In that moment. Okay. Okay. Oh, Robin. That sounds like quite a horrible one to... What do you think this perhaps could represent? Oh, it rains here. Tell me about Hong Kong. What does the name Lawrence Petrovsky mean to you? Well done, Chief. You've discovered Rain is my stage name. I wonder if he'll tell me anything different. Please try and save Ellis. She's the one in danger, and we've already had one dead body on your watch. Tell me about Hong Kong. If you know about Hong Kong, then I don't have to tell you anything. It's all in that report that you've clearly read. <laughs> Ooh, he's being antagonistic. Family right. report. Well, Poe, if I'm honest, you are quite right. Um, hey, Lexi. I haven't asked you about Zack yet. Until a few hours ago, I never heard of the guy. Creepy as fudge, if you ask me. Yeah, I think he was trying to Thanks, Lexi. Root you. It's always a pleasure. Well, me pretending to be you. Anything for you, Chief? Those negative emotions that you're feeling. Still see we now, talk from that. what I'm taking from this, Robin, I. Hey, creep. Nope. And you feel. And if I'm. Chief Dupont. Hey, Grave news, indeed. Will Ellis be safe with you here? Wait, what? Is she staying with him? No. She wants me to keep broadcasting. Oh, that's Which right, means I'll be booth bound for most of the night. She'd be safer at home with someone protecting her. Do you guys I'm gonna get someone together? else to handle the radio? And murder Poe and Monroe? No, Chief Dupont. Alice couldn't take that. Not tonight. We did think of asking you to do a guest evening at some point, though, if you're interested. No, I don't want to dilute my brand. <laughs> My brand. I would love to. <laughs> yeah, let's make promises the chief can't keep. Then I will pencil you in, chief. It will be an <laughs> honor and a privilege. This is gonna piss him off. Sorry, I must go back to the broadcast. The radio, she calls me like a siren, and she must be obeyed. Attached in the center. Yes. Um, and it's tiny, and it's made of, I think, metal. Mm -hmm. I think it's metal. Mm -hmm. We had the same. <sighs> All right, let's go. Hello, I'm Violet. I'm Violet. I mean, I suppose today you could. Buckle? I'm not sure. Yeah, why, why would people? 
wear this? Um, would they tie it around them? Yeah, again, it's a theme that we've visited before in one of our shows. It's a, it's a Bronze Age. It was then August. Violet, I'm actually a bit tied up at the moment. Well, in danger, actually. <laughs> no kidding. Everyone in August, one of those. Poe's curiosity shop is now. Welcome to Poe. Now, what could the object I've just handed to you be? Hi, I'm Bronwyn. I'm Bronwyn. There's a handle, and then it kind of looks like a wooden bell, mm. a large handle. Mm, yeah, it kind of looks like a knot. What can we do to help Alice? Haven't we done enough? Not many people get to know when they're going to die, let alone get the chance to avoid it. That's not very We've helpful. given Ellis That's a huge advantage. Scary. So what should we do? Do you really think she's got a chance? Maybe. Maybe Sam's her lucky charm. Anything short of an apocalypse would be considered a victory at this point. You're all putting too much faith in Sam. He's kind of a moron. Done, That's incredible. Curiosity shop. Bron, I thought about the whole restraining thing, and it's really hard to ask someone if they mind you tying them up for a while. What? I did a thing for Sam anyway. It might have helped. What? What are you doing now? What? Are you talking about the Ouija board thing, or are you talking about the reading you did for him? Okay. What do you- I don't know. I don't want to lie about my alibi again, though. What should I do? What? Log into Tarotism. Stay with me. Okay, this time we'll actually stay in the same room though. Yeah, let's get together. Maybe we should try and hang out with Rain and Violet too. Group alibi. Good freaking You're the best. idea. Because then we will narrow it down. Right. It's kind of a household item. Mm, I honestly. I, I, I doubt you've ever used one of those. You've never... Oh, they? Yeah. Latin bitch. Right, let's freak out the house again. Nope, okay. Nobody takes that. Takes that. Kilo Mangle was used to crush four young women in Kiruna in the 1960s. Oh, my gosh. They were all... I Hello, I'm Rain. I'm Rain. I'm Rain. I'm Rain. Not know. Oh gosh, you can have it back. Why do you think the killer's chosen Ellis? Because she sees her as a threat. Or he. I'm starting to think it might be you, though. The other redheads are threatening. Maybe, maybe you think they're taking Zach's attention away from you. The old man hobbled slowly down the street, leaning heavily on his tripod. And it's getting closer, isn't it? What's getting closer? The event. Whatever's going to happen to Alice. Yeah, Ellis. I'm thinking it might be next chapter. I can feel it. Or, or midnight. Do you think this John Pope is involved? I doubt it. As far as I know, they're live on air a lot of the time, and I'm not sure he could have nipped out, murdered Dorota, and made it back for the news at 10. Might have been recorded. So it know. could be him, then? <sighs> it could be anyone. It could be you, Ray. Halfway down the alley was a patch of deep shadow where the street lamp... Hey. How's the Ouija? Sam's asked if I can get anything else out of this. It's full of wit and repartee, as per usual. Dead people have a lot of time on their hands. The shit out of me. 
Night after night, I dreamt of bloody, violent death, and if I tried to stay awake, I slipped into of those around me. Did it. I went down to the... Brain, what an unexpected pleasure. Maybe you could help me with something. Brain just gets around no. talking to everybody. Sure. sure. When you were here yesterday, you don't recall seeing a small green velvet pouch anywhere, do you? No. No. That answer. Ah, I need to keep looking anyway. Perhaps you can come back another time. Okay. I spent seven I weeks at a mental anything. institution trying to rebuild my life, to find a way to live with the intolerable. At first they tried to get me to talk about it. I couldn't tell them what had driven me to... Hi, I'm Lexi. Oh, um, I'm Lexi. Into the world. With a letter for my physician and a bottle of tranquilizer. Very, very lucky I was not. It's going to be soon. Whatever happens to Alice, it will be soon. How do you know it's going how do you know it's gonna be soon? I can sense it. Are you not picking anything up, Lex? There's a traveler nearby. It's totally me. No. How do you know it's all totally this? Totally me. Masculine mainly. But I don't recommend you try it. What's masculine? Do you really want to hear this? Yes. <sighs> At uni, I read a book by Aldous Huxley called The Doors of Perception. He takes masculine and basically trips his balls off. And the party girl I used to be thought, yay. My experience wasn't anything like his though. People looked like tiny rainbow outlines, and I would notice that some of them would just appear from nowhere. Those ones, the ones from nowhere, I think they're the travelers. They kind of merge into one person, and suddenly there's only one outline. That's what I see. But you, no jokes for you, young lady. Tea and nothing else, all right? So basically, you took some kind of hallucinogen. Okay, well, I don't think anything you saw occurred. Within anything. me, the beast snarls and slobber. So, aliens, Violet. What are we thinking, Lex? So you heard about that too? Violet and aliens? It hasn't Bron told you? Violet said she was abducted so, by she aliens. Just telling everybody now? But not your usual stick me on a slab, call me grey type aliens. Aliens that decorate. Yeah, with heads, apparently. Decorating aliens? A traveller? Exactly. I think it was using Violet for room planning. Apparently, it wants a set of heads on the wall. Red heads, to be more specific. If it's a traveller, why is it strangling people? Well, it's a right, obviously, but the alien Violet's talking about probably isn't the same traveller. Perhaps this is something new we haven't discovered yet. So you think there's multiple travellers? Using travel? humans as decor. Uh, Ray, why do you pray for them? Well, because right now, oh, I can't think of anything else that prays. would help. Maybe try and get answers from the tarot? The only tarot with real answers is Mercury, and Mercury asks the questions. So other than staring at it for the rest of the night, I'm out of ideas. I learned pretty soon that it was futile. I've had to cut myself off from any on. close relationships if I wanted to have any kind of worthwhile lifestyle. Listen to this. A steady girlfriend or a wife is out of the question. Can... I'm a little afraid I to go back to uh, to have Zach anyone Lexi, around but with the beast we'll see what happens. Casual relationships have foundered on this rock. You won't let anyone get close to you is a phrase I've heard more than a few times. It's true. And of course, 
I will not tell them why. There's no predictable pattern to it. Years can go on quietly, but I once had to feed the beast twice in six weeks. I usually get about a week's warning, so clearly holidays are out. I dare not be anywhere where I don't know the ground well. Work was difficult, so I went freelance as soon as I could manage to earn enough to make ends meet. Then at least that worked out pretty well. Programming makes me good money. I can work from home and no one misses me if I drop out of circulation for a week or two. I find myself wondering how many others there are out there, how many beasts, or am I just one amongst many vehicles for a single slayer? There surely must be others. I cannot believe I am unique amongst all mankind, and if I am, then why me? I've tried to be discriminating in my victims. No true innocents have been fed to the beast, though that first time was pretty close. But everyone since has put themselves in my path. It, it's a way to live with the monstrosity of it. It's barbaric, but at least I tell myself the Slayer only takes those that the world is better off without. I find a good spot. The entrance to a yard. Deep in shadow, under dark walls with a shuttered double door. Just a drunk taking a piss. I stagger into the killing ground. For a moment, I, I think the footsteps are going to pass, but he, and it is always he, is just being careful before he doubles back. I take my time, leaning forward, hands on hips. The slayer quivers with anticipation within me. Hey mate, you got a light? voice is higher pitched than I expected, nerves making him speak, perhaps. I turn slowly as if I'm a little off balance. Sorry, I don't smoke. I look him in the face. He looks rough, sweating, even though it's after midnight and cool. His eyes are glazed over with large pupils. The spots on his neck seem to shine in the distant neon. I can smell his breath, sour with the stink of rotting teeth. A smackhead, I guess, in need of his medicine. Well, he had more choices about his life than me. Fuck you! Give me the money! He pulls out the knife from inside his jacket. Eight inches! Big enough to skewer an elephant. And I'm relieved. I needed to see the threat. I relax and open the gates. Let the Slayer come through. Ringside seat as the Terminator or Bruce Lee or Mike Tyson or all three combined takes control of my body and pours through it. The wild exhilaration of the beast sets my senses on fire even though I'm riding pillion. The hunter now becomes the hunted, freezes. My hands seize him with strength many times my own. My right hand crushes his larynx as the left reaches the knife from his, dislocating his elbow. Blood gushes from his mouth and nose. I turn his head away to avoid the spray and feel his neck break under my hand. The beast drinks in his life force as it spills out, greedily lapping it like a cat at pool of spilt milk. A great warm surge of energy courses through me, just a trickle of the stream the Slayer is drawing in. The broken body right, crumbles in it. my grasp. He is foul. Blood. I toss the body. Or other two. Okay, nothing. All right, never mind. There's uh, mm -hmm. nothing to worry about. Calling me to the coldness of the night. Time to get out of here. Not. Hi, I'm Ellis. I'm Ellis. head closer, seeking anonymity, meeting no eyes as I walk. There at last, so full of people, none of them. Orgasmic lethargy fills me as I wait in the rain. By the time the night bus arrives, the high has passed. Think about the weeks ahead of me, the paranoid wait to see if they're going to catch me this time, bus 
Did by Alice. Do you have the amethyst? What? What amethyst? People use them as I think like healing crystals, don't they? I don't know. Poe's amethyst pendant. The one we have the vial for. Poe's pendant. I don't know. It has to happen tonight. We can just go to your place now and get it. Someone's trying to kill me. If you don't get me that pendant, it's gonna be me. Seriously? No, I don't kill people. And even if I did, why would I start with you? Just go and get it. Now. Be normal for a while, but in the longer term, I can see no end to it. I know I can't resist this. Oh God. I'm so sorry. Ah! You mean everything to me. Ah, okay. I won't let you die. I thought he was gonna kill me for a second. <laughs> so Are you okay? I wonder if the pouch that he lost was the amethyst. Of course I'm okay. Which I wonder if it's else you who's shrouded in darkness, my love. Ella, we must finish what we started. Nope. What the hell is this guy? What do you mean? Let's finish it. Sure. Elle, I fell in love with you the first day we met. Okay, so he you does ripped like out my heart, diced it into pieces, and reshaped it in your form. I will always be yours, forever. This guy is a weirdo. Elle. Ah! Will you marry me? Oh, shit. No. Fuck. I'm gonna say no, because I don't think she's interested in this guy. Uh... What if he protects Alice, though, if I say yes? But I don't want to mess with people. Also, that was a weird ring to propose with. That wasn't the amethyst pendant, was it? No, it was white. Shit. No. No, man. Oh, uh, isn't this what you wanted? For us to be together forever? I, I don't really understand. But I'll wait. There's too much at stake now. Okay, good. How can I expect you to make a decision like this? Forgive me. I slept with Dorota. Ooh. Oh yeah, isn't he married? Let's start with. Oh. <laughs> why? Mm. And why are you telling me now? You didn't know? Because I wanted to. I see. <laughs> the rallying cry of this century. Because I wanted to. Uh-oh, is he mad? No thought for others, only themselves. <laughs> yeah. But I can't think less of you, Elle. Your brain works He's obsessed in mysterious with ways oh, dear. that can't be faulted. The problem always lies with my logic, not yours. Oh my gosh. I forgive you. So he's totally okay with her doing whatever. Are you really married? Yes, you've met my wife and family. They're sadly not actors I've hired to make my life look richer than it is. Tomorrow, I will tell her about us. And I will leave her. Another heart broken. And your kids? Another family destroyed. Another villainous father. Yeah, really. What a douche. Is your wife gonna kill me? How long have we been together? Is your wife gonna kill me? No. At least I don't think so. She doesn't know anything about us. Not yet, anyhow. Okay. Jeez. Uh, Maybe I should have asked about Poe to Ellis. I don't know. I don't know if this guy's being truthful. But I feel like you don't just pop the question on somebody if you don't really have a relationship. But so much. It was used for teleportation. Allegedly, you could look in the mirror 
Close your eyes. Hope I didn't need that ring. Think of being somewhere else, and you're there. Should we try it now? All right. So now we can talk to Violet. I'm Zach Weston. Just sharpening my powers of persuasion. We're only joking. She's still here. Yeah, she's still here. I can't, I can't do this show without. Zach. The game is up. I think you should leave town. Ooh, what? she knows him. I know where you were last night. I followed you to Dorota's house. Well, she didn't remember anything. Well, I didn't know it was Dorota's house until we arrived. Call it women's intuition. I was at the studio. No, you weren't. That detective's not stupid. Dupont might be, but not Sam. They'll put two and two together. And then what? And then they're going to arrest you. You weren't there long, I suppose, but then... I guess it doesn't take you long, <laughs> does it? <laughs> you're spying on me. So you're saying Zack went to go bang Dorota? I saw you leave her house, and then I went in. She was naked, lying oh, so radiant she says he did on the it. bed. And what did I find in her closet? A wedding dress. Who was that for, Zack? Oh. Who was that for? Oh. I've done covering for you. We're finished. Oh, she needs to get married. You need to leave now. She, she is a, it's a perpetual, um, so uh, very likely Zach then. Circle of, of, of negative. I don't see how it couldn't be him. He hasn't filled those wounds. Well, well, I. Houses represent your soul and sense of self. They represent potential. So you're oh. quite correct in what you're saying about filling up different aspects of her life and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, and I think what the bugs represent are the... Good. Now, the... I'm worried that you're not... Um, and if I'm honest, I think you're also plagued by insecurities about your ability, perhaps, to be the person you wish you could be. I'm Poe, and this is your August update. August update. Well, I'm not sure what it is, but... I'm sorry, can I help you? She really doesn't I've know him. just moved in next door. It's not a very good time at the moment, <laughs> I didn't walk afraid. into your house. Really? Uh, anything I can help with? No, not really. It's the same material. Oh. I see, but it's small as well, and it has mm -hmm. three circles attached. Mm -hmm. But I'm not sure. I suppose today you could wear it as a brooch, maybe, or mm -hmm. a belt buckle. I'm not sure. Yeah, why, why, why would it. people, in ancient times, why, why am I people... Um, but they tie it around themselves, perhaps? Attach it to some leather, maybe? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's a theme that we've visited before. Age amulet. John. Be I'm gonna be fine. How long have we been together now? On the radio? I started at Radio August about two years ago. So they aren't together. Why? No, I mean, romantically. Do you want me to leave my wife? I only want you to do what makes you happy. I'll be waiting for you either way. Why so didn't you tell me about or not? What didn't I tell you about Dorota? That you were sleeping with her. 
I'm giving you a chance to tell me now. Can't we talk about this another time? It's just that it's late, and I'm about to get murdered. <laughs> I thought you'd come to put your arms around me and tell me everything was going to be all right. We need to talk about this now. Yeah, let's hug her. Make her feel better. Stay at the radio, Poe. Sam's taking care of me now. I'm gonna be saved. Didn't you know? I don't trust her, actually. I love you. I'm staying. I oh, love you. I have a feeling she's gonna tell me to get lost if I tell her that I'm staying. Alright, let's just say... Plus, you would hear me on the radio. Alright, hope you don't Months die. Months ago, Bye. the eggheads on smoke break told Jimmy that the Emma project had failed. Gene pattern was unstable or some such bullshit. Sent down to the vault right, for that's it for this further chapter. military evaluation. Hope she doesn't die. Like the rest of Thacker's creations. She don't. Face of the ramp. My thumb she caresses the safety and sure it's leave. off. As I reach the steel wall, the garage plunge. I suppose it did look a bit like that on the video. He managed to grab her ankle as she went over, but he just didn't have the strength to hold her. Still, he kept pretty quiet about that, didn't he? How did they even get in that position, Sal? That's the question you should be asking. Sure, he tried to save her, but, 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 but did he? Yeah, Dr. Tanner. She's checking up on Violet. Why are you still giving her a hard time about this? She's had it tough enough already. She's suspicious as fuck, man. She's had a shopping list of medical issues. This is just the latest thing. She might seem tough on the outside, but she's frightened, Sam. About a lot of things. Clearly. The doctor said the aliens are delusions, a side effect of her previous alcoholism. She's been sober six months, and I don't want to change that, Sam. The, the neuropathy she suffered due to alcohol is causing her problems. The pills are to try to help with that, but I guess they have side effects too. Memory loss. She's not a monster. Just a little girl lost. I wonder if that was actually her that we saw. Like She was drunk. drinking to forget. She... She ran with a bad crowd a few years ago. They branded their backs with symbols, basically Ooh, a cult. The, monkey symbol. the leaders were imprisoned, but they left a lot of baggage behind. You won't get any mileage talking to her about it, I assure you. Okay. Rain's still a suspect. No corroborated alibi. Bromman Castle has one. Lexi Taylor doesn't. I've got my search back on Rain, or Petrovsky, as we should call him. He's got priors that you're looking into. Rain met Ellis when he was touting for work. He gets around quickly. Ellis knows Violet because of the free radio project. Violet's been doing some web searches on Ellis. You think that's a jealous streak. I think it's a sign of the times. You've still not accepted my friend request, have you? Violet's just admitted being at the crime scene last night with Zack. It's not looking good for Zack now. Oscar's in the clear. He was playing football last night. He said that Dorota had a wedding dress in her closet. Not many people would know that. I think you've narrowed it down to Zack, Rain, and Lexi. That's just my professional opinion, mind you. Feel free to ignore the person who hired you. That's it. I wonder if that's really it, because... He really doesn't think it's Violet. I think it's possibly Violet. Zack seems just like a huge creeper. I'm sure it couldn't be Poe, though. I don't know. I don't think it's Lexi. I feel like I haven't seen anything from her that makes me suspect her. Rain is kind of suspicious, but he seemed genuinely upset about the girl who died, so I don't really think it's him. All right, let's go to the next chapter. Prepare for the mo- It's now 10 o'clock. Here's your August update. Investigations deepen into last night's murder of 21-year-old Dorota Shaw. 
Miss Shaw, a talented cellist who had recently been granted a place at Juilliard, was found strangled at her home last night. With the murderer still at large, Chief Dupont has urged residents to remain calm and stresses there is almost no chance of anyone else being harmed. Alice, if you're listening, let me know you're okay. In other news, a handful of August residents have reported seeing strange lights in the sky earlier this evening. The lights, which witnesses describe as searingly bright, were spotted over the east edge of town, past the fire station. Have you seen any strange lights? Or for that matter, little green men? Let me know. That's 10 o'clock with Poe. August's gone crazy tonight. I've just got off the phone with someone who thinks they saw a UFO on one of the nights that Violet went missing. Oh, so that was like with me bullshitting. Right now. Anyway, now you're here, it's time. What do you suggest we do with Ellis Monroe? Please tell me there's a UFO ending. Oh shit. Oh god. I think this is going to be important. Uh, I don't think leaving town will necessarily save her. Should I protect her? How am I gonna protect her? I don't got any weapons. Send an off. I don't know. Some rando officer may not be enough. Let's let's say we'll do protect her. Monroe's a local treasure around here, Sam. Don't let anything happen to her. Yeah, let's protect her. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna call this uh, a session here because I have the feeling. Stuff is gonna get crazy in a minute, so uh, I'm a little worried. I really hope that I can save her. What if, what if she was to kill her? That'd be really bad. I don't think she is, but she could. You never know. Uh, so let's hope nothing bad happens to her, and I will see you on the next session.